I apologize for the wind. It's windy out here. But we're gonna be going down the banks, you know, fishing, seeing what we can catch, and I'm also gonna have my eye out for uh, any possible bonsai candidates. Anyway, like always, wish me luck. See what we can do. Out at the res. I think it's gonna be like 70 again today. It's kind of windy right now. Uh, this is what, February 21st? I don't know. It's towards the end of February. Nice weather. Okay, whoa. Got one on. I've been here for a while now. Figured I'd start filming as soon as I got a bite. And I switched this as a second cast maybe on this jerk bait. I've tried several other things. It's a little one, but it's a start. Water's definitely warming up. But, uh, got a cold spell coming uh, next day or so. So, water temperature right now is 50 degrees. So I think uh, a couple days ago, got the little square bill on right now. There we go. Little baby. A little quarter pounder of cheese. Man, it ain't even a quarter pounder. That's one of those bonsai bass. I like to come out and fish for bass. They typically look like this one. We'll make that out, but that that looks just like a bass, only smaller. So back out there well that's two against whatever whether it be the bank or the grass and weeds and gunk that's out in the water so trying to find something that'll there we go something that'll get them so far I've just been here back out in the boat a couple minutes looks like that might be the thing to keep throwing it's one I keep talking about. I hate the hooks. Whoa. Come on. They're slimy. I know what you guys are thinking. Get your pliers before you hook yourself. There's a nice one. Well, <laughs> it, it's a bass. Bigger than a quarter pounder with cheese. Or a half pounder. And the wind will blow you right to the bank if you don't watch it. I'm trying to stay a little ways out, but it's not working. This I'm standing up. I should probably be sitting down. So I won't have to fight it as much. I'm like I said before, you're standing up out in the wind, you're like a huge sail on these little boats. There we go, now we're on to something. Two in a row. Let's try to stay back here. Oh, he ate that sucker. It came out of his mouth now, but it was in his mouth big time. Look at that, pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Oh boy. Whoa, man, this boat. I'll try to hold this one up. I don't know if you guys can make out. Give them the treble hooks, they do hook them. You guys can make out how pretty that green is. That's a very, very nice color. I'll paint the walls in the bass cave that color. They're already some kind of funky green. Well, let's see if we own a bunch of them, or I may throw the jig there if I don't get a couple hits again with this thing. So just the two, or we owned a little mini school of them. Let's try up close here.
guys might be able to tell by now that uh, for the smaller lighter baits for whatever reason this has become a new uh, favorite rod and reel if it'll if it'll throw it and that's what I'm wanting to throw I'll throw it on this thing and uh, I talked about the Zonda this rod is actually made by me as you can tell that's a the older style mega bass you've probably been reading that for the last week but it's actually the rod itself is actually a gold max old uh, cheap six start out as a six foot eight light action it says quarter to three eighths but this thing uh, is a very almost a noodle like as far as but then it kicks in and it is a very uh, useful rod for anything with treble hooks seems to be able to you know, have so if you can there we, there we go kids I knew there's gonna be some more in here uh oh oh he's a little one but they'll count how many is that now I lost count already four easy now not really hitting it real great but well if I get out my lucky pliers my luck will turn around seems like every time I get these things out they start doing good still haven't cleaned them yet when I got pliers I like to grab them like that that tends to work real good Get re-situated here. Put on the brakes. There we go. That's what I should be throwing. Oh, stop, kids. I mean, a little bitty still. But, got the tail into that one. Still bass. Got the right species going. Come on. Get out of there. A little bitty, bitty, bitty quarter pound, I mean, quarter pound of cheese. Ow. Finger. Stay out of here. Tell I'm zinging it way out there and having to put the brakes on with my thumb. The wind's helping. That's a little, a little better, I think. Not a lot, but he is a little. Oh, he's like two ounces bigger than the last one. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. That one had all three hooks stuck on him. Let's stay out of here. We might be getting on to something right there. Water is very, very, oh, look at that. You see, I don't know that finger, what I just running across right here. This grassy stuff's like everywhere. I got the wind, I can't stay out of anywhere. It blows me right on to everything. Another one. That way up there, almost to where that little point, I don't know if you can make that out, comes out. I'm trying to keep myself way back. I can cast the mile, this wind. They're not very big, but come on. That 
that's a, oh, that's actually a good size one right there. I'll take those. I'm getting a little bit bigger. I better get my pliers. He's got every hook in him. I'm trying to be careful with him, but I don't want to hook myself either. See how you get them by that lip? They kind of don't try to jump. They had it all twisted. Try not to do any damage. And I hooked him again. Oh my god. Mega bass hooks are very sharp. That's a good one. Almost a pound. They're getting bigger. Almost a pound. Back out there. I ain't giving any little males a kiss. Oh boy, here we go. Four feet all the way, quite a ways out. And I'm, there we go. And then I'm sitting in 11 foot of water and it only gets to about, I think it goes, stays at 11 and gets a little deeper to the right. Nothing's bigger here today, but I am catching them. 51 degree water temperature. I'd say I'm a little early for the big ones coming up. You might remember that big one I caught was out in the middle deep. I saw that little ball on my grass. There we go. We might be onto something that's too right off that spot right there. You guys can see that tree out in the water. Kind of went out and around it. Came back. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Take you home, put my fish tank, except you might eat my goldfish. Oh, these are the ones you got to watch. These littlest ones are the ones that'll. Worm or two in his back. They're the ones that'll shake and you wind up hooked. Grab them by that bottom lip and hold on tight. Do not let go. There we go, finally. Put another one on the old jerk bait. They're just little today though. They must have heard it was bonsai day. Must have heard it was bonsai day. That was a long cast. That was those kids. Oh yeah. Jumping. Hopping, skipping, skiing. A long ways out. Come on. Long way out there for that bass. Long distance bass. Don't you do it. Almost got me. Try to get to grab that lip and hold on for life. Or they'll stick you. Where'd that go? Did you guys see that? I guess it hit the water. I guess it hit the water. Ah! Oh. It's still there. <laughs> it's a little bitty one. 
I guess they hit the water. It's got a fish on it. They're a little hot. Oh, it's in the boat. Well, should have known. The old Ned rig won't get you. It'll well, catch big ones, but generally the little ones will whack it too. I was hoping something a little slower and bouncing off the bottom would produce bigger fish, but I think I've caught over 10 today, but you add them all up, you get about five pounds. Well, maybe not five pounds. Solid three and a half. All right, I'm gonna put a wraps on this. This will be the last of my little fishing and bonsai day. As you can see, I got a huge, uh, <laughs> I'm dragging a huge bonsai material. That's actually a sycamore tree. I've been got one on each side of the boat. This one's a big one though. And uh, stay tuned for future videos of my bonsai adventures if you want to see what kind of tree that is but it's a sycamore pretty cool looking when long as it lives should have plenty of roots it's crazy living like hanging out of the water anyway thanks for watching this fishing video a bunch of little you know quarter pounds with cheese bonsai bass whatever you want to call them they were little but it's always a big one out there waiting thanks for watching